this this will kind of change your life. I'll be honest, like I never want to have a normal body again. This is awesome. <laughs> So, this might be kind of controversial, but building a Greek god physique is not that hard and maintaining a Greek god physique is pretty fucking easy. As long as you know the things that I'm going to tell you in this video. So, listen up closely if you want to look like a Greek god without trying all that hard. So, I've been going to the gym for around like three or four years and honestly it's kind of a side thing. I'm more interested in being an athlete and doing my flips and shit. I have not trained in the gym for like a month. Life just got in the way. I have not tracked a single calorie. I mean, I have tracked the calorie this year, but like, it's been months, you know? I've been eating ice cream pretty much every single day, and this is my physique. No pump, just posing and lighting. This is my physique normally, like, just nothing. Obviously, I'm not a huge gym bro, I'm not a bodybuilder, but let's face it, 99% of men would probably want to look like me and I can't blame them. It's fucking awesome. So, how do you get a Greek god physique without trying all that hard? Well, I'll put on a shirt so I don't look like a total douchebag for the whole video and then I'll tell you everything you need to know. Psych! I just spent a week in Italy getting a fucking tan. There is no way I'm keeping my shirt on. So, you want to become a Greek god. You cannot control the shape of your muscles, the distribution of your body fat and the shape of your skeletal frame. These are all going to have a huge impact on how your physique looks, but you can't change them, so stop worrying about them. But you can change the next two factors, the size of your muscles and the total amount of body fat you have. These are the only two factors you need to adjust to improve your physique. Let's start with muscles. How do you grow muscles? Well, you just need to set a stimulus. You need to tell your body to grow your muscles. How do you do this? You do this through resistance training. Resistance training can be pretty much anything. You can do calisthenics and shit, but it's like, yeah, you can build muscle doing calisthenics, but you can also do the Tour de France on a unicycle. Doesn't mean it's the fucking best idea. All the machines and weights in the gym are literally designed to take your muscles through their range of motion and increase the resistance over time. It's literally optimized for muscle building and strength. So it's kind of like, why bother doing something else? But if you really just wanna do calisthenics or whatever, these principles are gonna work with that as well. How do we set a muscle building stimulus? Well, let me explain. You have to take the muscle you're working on through an adequate range of motion for an adequate amount of reps with an adequate amount of weight. Now what the fuck does that mean? Well, there's kind of no answer I can give you without some exercise science bitch boy screaming at me because it does get kind of nuanced here. But basically, just do anywhere between 5 to 20 reps and make sure you are training hard. If you do 15 reps and I tell you I will give you a million bucks for every rep you do after those reps and you do 6 more reps, you're not training hard enough you should at least get close to failure. Now, you don't have to train to failure on every set and you probably shouldn't train to failure on every set. But I've been to a commercial gym, I know what it's like, most people are not training hard enough. Here's a good way to gauge if you're training hard enough. Soreness. If you're not getting sore at all, you could be training harder. If you're still sore by the time your next training session comes around, you should probably take it easy and make sure to ease into training a little bit. Don't just go hard from the get-go. Go easy in the beginning and then ramp up the intensity over time. Now here's a way to ensure you're training hard and making progress. Try to add weight to the bar or do more reps every single week. Now here's the thing, you won't be able to do this forever, which is exactly the point. At some point you're gonna have to push yourself. And progressive overload is very important when it comes to building muscle and strength. This is easy with weights, if you do calisthenics, pick an exercise that's hard for you, overload with reps and maybe even sets, and then switch to a harder exercise or a harder variation of that exercise. Here's a calisthenics example. Push-ups. They take your muscles through a decent range of motion, but if you can do 40 push-ups in a row, then trying to gain muscle by doing push-ups is going to be 
kind of annoying and you might just want to pick a harder exercise. If you can do two push-ups, it's probably a bit too hard for you and you might want to start with an easier exercise. That's why I despise people who give out cookie cutter bodyweight workouts without giving any context on intensity. Just because it burns doesn't mean it's good at building muscle. Just because it's hard doesn't mean it's good at building muscle. Just because you get sore doesn't mean it's good at building muscle. By the way, fuck you Adrian James. 14 year old me did in fact not get a six pack. But I got it now, bitch. Which is a perfect segue into how you actually get a six pack and how to look like a Greek god, which is lowering your body fat. Body fat is your body's way of storing energy. When you take in excess energy via your food intake, so consuming too many calories, your body stores that energy as fat. And then, when you don't have enough energy through your food intake, it will use up that fat as energy. Easy as that. Now, we used to have a big problem with starvation back in the day. Nowadays, it's a recent issue that people got too fat because we have an abundance of food nowadays. How do you get leaner? You just eat less calories and burn more. It's as simple as that. If you want to track your calories, awesome, yes, you go girl. Um, there is no calculator that will tell you exactly how many calories you burn and there is no app that will tell you exactly how many calories you are taking in. So you will always have to adjust based on how much weight you're losing and how you're looking in the mirror. If you're not losing weight slash fat, just eat less. There is no point in complaining and being like, oh my God, I'm in a thousand calorie deficit and I'm not losing any weight. No, no you're not. If you're not losing any weight, you're not in a calorie deficit. It's as easy as that. If you eat around 2 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight, you will feel more satiated and you will be able to build slash keep more muscle. And if you eat 0.8 grams of fat per kilogram of body weight, you will also feel more satiated and you will keep up your hormones so you avoid getting erectile dysfunction, which is kind of like not all that great. What if you don't want to track your calories? Well, that's also okay. Um, I would suggest for most people to track at least once in their life so they can roughly get a feel for what kind of things have how many calories and what kind of foods they maybe should be eating more of and what kind of foods they maybe should be eating less of. But if you don't want to track for whatever reason, that's fine. There are a few ways you can reduce your calorie intake without tracking. Drink water. Liquid calories like soft drinks, juices and smoothies are usually easy to consume, not very satiating, and they can add up very quickly. Replacing them with water, tea, or a diet drink of your choice can sometimes be enough to make a noticeable difference. Eat more of what's healthy and satiating. Fruits, veggies, lean meats, and low-fat yogurts. All of these are amazing options. I've been eating a shit ton of ice cream lately, and I've been to McDonald's a couple of times when I was on vacation. So how can I maintain this, even whilst eating shit foods? Well, well, well. There is two pieces to this puzzle. Two pieces. Number one, if you eat clean most of the time, you can eat like shit some of the time. Number two, I have filled my life with activities that I enjoy doing, and during those activities, I burn more calories than someone with less muscle mass than me, because muscle mass is an active tissue so you will burn more calories doing anything. If you just do a little bit of resistance training, some sports, and you don't eat like total shit, it'll be very easy to maintain a good physique. If you implement what I'm about to tell you now. Okay. Habits. You need to build habits. Do you know why most diets don't work? Because they're fucking diets. Do you know how many times I've heard people complain about how they've gained weight and that they're going on this four week diet, oh it's a salad diet, it's a juice cleanse, oh they're doing keto and then they lose the weight and they gain it all back again. And then they complain, oh it's their age, it's their metabolism. No the fuck it's not. So you've implemented habits that led to you having a body you didn't like. Then you've tortured yourself for a few weeks with an extreme restriction of 
only eating this food or not eating this food at all, then you lose all the weight and then you go back to the habits that led you to having a shit body in the first place. And then you complain about getting your shit body back. If you do the same habits again that led you to having a shit body, you're going to have a shit body again. You need to implement habits that make it easier for you to sustain that body. Easy as that. Example, get more activity in that isn't exercise. Walk more, take your bike instead of your car sometimes, find a sport you enjoy doing, and maybe just go on a short walk if you notice you've been sitting inside all day. Next thing to implement, resistance training. I believe all people should be doing some form of resistance training because it's the key to staying strong, fit and healthy for as long as possible. Now, I don't care if you do calisthenics or go to the gym or do some other form of resistance training, just do something. I promise it will change your life. And as I already said, muscle is an active tissue, so having more muscle mass will help you stay leaner whilst eating the same amount of food. Awesome, right? The third thing you should do is replacing some of your meals. For example, I eat a low-fat yogurt with apple, cinnamon, almonds and honey every single day. I don't get tired of eating this every single day. I look forward to it every single day because it tastes amazing and it gets me a lot of important nutrients I need. It gets me a lot of protein. It's very satiating and it can also be very low calorie as long as you go easy on the nuts and the honey. Now here's the thing. I said this was gonna be easy and it is, but you're gonna have to push yourself. You're gonna have to learn about training and nutrition but those are all incredible things, I promise you, it's worth it. If you get lean and implement good habits, you can stay lean without much effort. If you're lean, you don't need a lot of muscle to look great to normal people. New begins come quick, you don't even need to be close to optimal to get good results. Consistent beats optimal every single time. So just remember, the time will pass anyway. And if you start now, you will find yourself looking and feeling better before you know it. See you next week.